Sega. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome uh, to another Total War Shogun 2 um, Battle Report. I'm joined today by uh, Mr. Gamanan and Sinanatan. <laughs> and uh, say hello, Ingemar, to all the people at home. Hello, every people at home. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, today I'll be fighting um, a battle against uh, Shogun 2's AI. Uh, and I'm playing a defensive siege scenario. You can see here that I'm defending a rather large, sprawling castle. Uh, this castle is built on a mountaintop. Um, it has a sheer drop at the back. Of course, however, there is a, a single small route around the back of the castle using this bridge right here. Um, and this waterfall, which we're bouncing over very deftly. Um, the castles in Shogun 2 can of course be upgraded, giving you more and more uh, kind of uh, different areas to defend, and indeed different defensive structures, and I've got a very high level one to defend today. Now the AI will be approaching me from any number of angles, about 180 degrees in front of the castle. So Ingemar, at this stage of the battle, um, what's the AI going to be looking to do? Well, there are a number of options there. Um, most of it's going to try and surprise you, and uh, kind of take advantage of your weak flanks, or Concentrate all its forces. Weak in a flanks. I have no weak <laughs> flanks, Mr. Ingemar. <laughs> well, there's one on your left right there. <laughs> <laughs> but it might not go for that. It might come for like full force, head on. It's um, it's different. Just enjoy it. Right. Well, what I'm doing at the moment is um, I'm pulling all my melee infantry into a single, um, what I'd like to call a powerful block unit formation, or which others may call a blob. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and defend the outfield, as it were, or the very outer perimeter of my castle with archers, and keep all the melee units together so that wherever the AI comes, um, I will hopefully be able to defend. Let's now, hope so. Let's hope so. Well, first off, don't you don't you doubt my abilities? <laughs> I'm uh, I'm a very adept at this kind of uh, this kind of warfare. Right. So I'm just manoeuvring my troops now. Obviously, I can't see the AI, and the AI can't see how I'm deploying either. So um, we should hopefully be able to surprise one another. And again, I'm just bringing all my melee troops into a single area, and I'm going to back those up with my general, of course, who will give a uh, a morale bonus and various other ability bonuses to all of those troops within his sphere. So you think putting your uh, troops in the front is a good idea then. Yeah, basically what, I, what I'm looking to do here is, is I'm trying to have a, um, a situation whereby wherever they come at me in the perimeter I've got um, like a kind of a big core of shock troops to maybe deal with them. So we'll right. see, how, see how well my, uh, my tactic works. Okay, so immediately I can see the AI is deployed in two different places. Now um, are we going to see a lot of different kind of deployment choices from the AI this time around? Yeah, it will try to do something different every time and uh, it will try and you know keep it fresh. Okay, well, in, uh, in honour of the crisp, fresh snow, we can see that we have a large contingent of, looks like, melee infantry with a couple of units of bows coming up on the right-hand side as I see it. And then on the left-hand side, we have a smaller number of units, um, again, long-range by the look of it, and also some Tepo units here, if, that, if I'm correct. Maybe it's worth to mention that we don't know what's going to happen now. Yeah, we have no idea. So what goes on next is, uh, is, a, giant, uh, is a giant cluster of joy. Okay, so... Here we go. Right, now, pretty soon they should be coming in range of my arrows. Um, so I'm going to bring the arrow archers a little further forward, and I can see where they're going to probably concentrate their attack now. The archers are set to fire at will. Um, you don't want to t uh, take up the kind of positions underneath the walls at all? No. And why no? do you say that with such a note of, are you sure you want to do this, Kira? <laughs> <laughs> As if, like, I'm going to bugger it up. Right, OK, so... Um, Right, now the guys are here, and uh, we are just waiting on them now to, uh, to start firing on the enemy as soon as they come into range. And hopefully this will just scare them off a little bit. What I want to do is, is hold them off at range. Um, oh, oh, it looks like they're thinking a little bit. I'm going to give a bit of thought to what's happening next. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Look at this, because they're like, aha, you'll actually get into my range if you come any further, chap, so you're going to have to come up with a strategy here. Yeah. Now Being on the cautious. left hand side. On the left hand side, however, they're still moving up, which is slightly more worrying. Uh oh. Oh, shoot. And over here at the back, um, we can see that there's a number of uh, melee infantry yeah, supported the by the back attack. Is that the official term yep. in, in AI programming uh, lingo? <laughs> the back attack. The back attack. Right, okay. 